Okay, we're going to work on the zigzag heart bookmark. This is the third bookmark in the skill builder uh, learning series of bookmarks that I have in my Etsy shop. Um, you can find the patterns on Etsy. There's a link down below. And it's um, building the skill of making these zigzag shapes. The zigzags can look like hearts, depending on the colors that you use. So, and it's a fun one that has a border and we're going to do some open weaving here. I'll use black and white and pink so that you can see a little bit more clearly everything that I'm doing. Okay, we're going to start with this border and if if I if it seems like I'm going too fast for you, um you can slow down the video or you can go back and watch the Millie Arachne bookmark, which I described this a bit um slower and in more detail. But what we do here is we need two pair on that leader pin. Both of the pairs get a twist and then we join them together. One, two, three, four, two over three, two and four back over one and three, two over three. And then we hang another two pair on the next pin, twist and twist. And then we join them together. One, two, three, four, two over three, two and four back over one and three, two over three. And then we want to make sure that they stay in order so that we know which ones we're grabbing. And we hang two more, twist, and twist, and we join them together, two over three, two and four back over one and three, two over three. And now the middle, the middle pairs, I'm going to work this pair out, just over each other. And I want to make sure that my tensioning is great from the very beginning. So that can just stay off to the side and this other pair that was in the middle we're going to work that out to the right so it's two over three two and four over one and three two over three and then you move to the next two over three two and four over one and three two over three and tension 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 so that it's nice and taut from the very beginning okay and then you're going to work these four one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These four pair here in the middle. You're going to work it like you're working a spider, We're just ignoring these ones for a moment. So if this is the spider, here's the middle. Work it over, work this over. Okay, and now that they've switched places, basically, that's how it works with the spider, I'm going to place my pin up here. And these, um, the black threads here are going to be creating the border around the bookmark. Make sure everything's tensioned, and then I will close this pin. Two over three, two and four over one and three, two over three. And then starting on this side, you can start on the other side, that doesn't matter. But starting here, I'm just going to move this pair up and back. So two over three, two and four over one and three, two over three, two over three, two and four over one and three, two over three. Twist once, place my pin, and go back. Two over three, two and four over one and three, two over three. Two over three, two and four over one and three, two over three. Twist, and place my next pin. And now the next part is important. Whatever color you want your zigzag to be, and maybe it's the same color, but if you want it to be a different color, now is where you're going to hang your different color. So I'm going to use this pretty pink color. This has a twist, this has a twist. That's how we join them. One, two, three, four, two over three, two and four over one and three, two over three. And now that's ready to work into my pattern. And now we're going to go back out. Make sure it has a twist here. 
end back in. Twist. And the inside of the bookmark, I'm going to make it all white so that the pink really pops. So we hang my white, one twist, this has a twist, work it on, work this back out, twist, place your pin, work it back in, twist, place my pin, hang my next pair, there's the twist, work it in, now I can work this back out. Everything's kind of tricky at first, but once you get the hang of it, you can really fly. Twist. This has a twist. Work this out. Twist. Work it back in. Twist. Place my pin. One more. Make sure it has a twist. And now work it back out. That's the top half of that border. I'm going to pin these two, the passive pairs, up and off to the side a bit so that I remember that these are the passive pairs and that this is the working pair. And now I can go back to the other side and do the same thing on the other side. I will I'll show you the first one and then I'll, I'll finish the rest off. out it took so long to get that slip knot off okay so this is ready to just go straight out nothing has to be twisted until here twist place my pin go back in I'm tensioning twist place my pin and everything else is white now the only pair that's going to be the different color is that one pink pair. And that's it. So you can do this all the way down and then you'll be ready to start making the body of the bookmark. So I'll be back in just a second so you can see. Okay, for this bookmark, I'm having this really open kind of weave. I'm just not twisting in between. So let's see what this looks like is I'm not twisting anything. I'm just going to join here at this first pinhole there. Two over three, two and four over one and three, two over three. Place my pin and close my pin. Two over three, two and four over one and three, two over three. I'm going to work this side and then this side. And it's the same all the way down. So I'm not twisting anything. I'm just bringing everything down. Thank you. 
Now, the only thing I'm going to be twisting is along the border, along the edge, I'm going to twist my working pair twice and join as normal. And I'm twisting it twice to go out, one and two. And then you work it through your passive pairs. Slow it down a little bit. Twist. Place my pin. And work it back. And I'm pinning my passes up and off to the side. That way I remember that those are passes. I'm going to work this this side down. And again, I'm, this is my working pair, so I'm going to twist, twist. And again, twist, twist, and then work it through the passes. Twist. Tension, tension, tension. And bring the working pair back. Tension again, and hold the passes up and off to the side. Okay, now here's the fun part. We're going to start the zigzag. So we need to get here first. So here we are. Now my pink is coming here. My pink is coming back and it's working through this pair in the middle. One, two, three, four, two over three, two and four over one and three, two over three. And now I'm bringing in the next pair. Two over three, two and four over one and three, two over three. Place my pin. I want to twist this once and bring it back all the way across. I'm going slowly so you can see that I'm working through all of these pairs as if they're passives to create this zigzag design. And now this is going to come in here. I'm going to twist this once. And bring it back. And I'm going to bring it back all the way through. And I'm going to add this next pair to the side. And I'm going to twist it there once. Tensioning the pink is going to help keep that zigzag the shape that you want it. You don't want to tension too much. Work that pink all the way back until you get to the pair here. This pair is out now. That pair is leaving the design. So this is the next dot in the zigzag. <laughs> has to go through first. Place the pin. I'm going to twist it once and work it back. And now this pair is leaving the zigzag. Work this all the way back. And I'm picking up a pair on this side. Twist. Twist. 
work it back. And here's the next pin, which means this one's leaving. We're going to keep this pair in here, but do you see that we need one coming in from this side? So now I'm going to go back up here and work these, work this line here so that I have something to bring there. Now this pink has something to go to, so we are going to keep that one there. It didn't get tossed out. Work this back. And if you're going slowly, you can tension your white threads in a way that everything stays nice and even throughout. Okay, so this last one is going to come back out because it needs to come here, right? This is going to be the one that gets tossed out next. Now this will get tossed out and come along this line, yep. Yeah? Now we work the pink back. one that can join on that corner. So we're bringing this down, this line. Twist this. And see, this one goes out, <clears throat> which means this pair is what gets tossed out next. This needs a twist, and then I can go back. And we're going to there. And I have one. It's this one. a twist, I go back, across, to here. This one needs a twist still, and now I'm going back down. I'm just going to take some pins here. There. Close. and that's the first heart so now what needs to happen next is I'm going to work all of this area so that I have everything above my zigzag and then I can make my next zigzag I'll be back when I have all of this worked okay I'm prepped for the next zigzag what you want is 
in the triangle shape everything above the zigzag to be finished. It just makes it easier. So we're going to bring the pink back in. Place the pin. Work it back. And now we can bring it to this outside edge and bring this one in and then go back and pick up the other side. Twist. Work it through. Work it through. Now go pick up that edge. Twist. Work it back through. 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 And we're going to pick up another pair. Twist. I'm getting my tension right up here. Now work it back. Picking up a pair on this outside as well. Twist. Pin. Tension. And bring it back all the way through everything again. And picking up another pair. Twist. Now this pair needs to stay out because it needs to join right there on the next pin on this side. This pin we're going to twist, pin, and this pair also needs to stay out because it needs to work to that pin. Remember that this pair needs to stay out of the next in line. Twist and work it back. And now this pair needs to stay out because this pair needs to work down this line. So you can if you do things in a certain order, it helps helps you stay organized. So if I twist it first always, then I remember that I twist it. Now work it back. And we're working through that pin. But now I need one to come down to this pin. So I work this line here, this diagonal line. And get those ready. So that I have something to bring in on that pin. Okay, now I have something to bring in on the pin. Twist. Pin. Work it back. I'm gonna make sure my threads are laying where I want them to as I'm working. And now keep in mind that it's coming back, which means this pair needs to stay out, not get worked back in, because it needs to follow this diagonal line. Twist. Pin. And now this pair will need to stay out so it can work the next diagonal line. Work through. 
through, work through. I need to pick up a pair on this side, but I need a pair on that side. So, oops, oops, oops. <laughs> I'm getting carried away. I need to pin first. Okay, now I have a pair. Twist. Oops, tensioning too hard over here. Okay, work it back. Make sure my tensioning is right inside the heart. Twist. Pin. Work it back. There we go. Twist. Pin. This pair stays out. And here's the last one inside the heart. I just want to tension this before I go further. And close the pin. And there's our next heart. So this is the technique to work all the way down until you get to almost the very, very bottom. And I'll be back to show you the next part. Okay, and this is why I said to go all the way, almost to the bottom, leave this row free, and now we're going to close it with this tapered edge. Um, so here we are. That's the last one on that edge. I'm going to go twist, twist, because we're using the black um, working pair. Go out to the edge, twist. Place your pin, bring it back through the passives and now we're taking that first white pair we're going to work it through everything and back to um through the black colors twist place your pin if it feels like i'm going really fast um you can also watch the millie arachne video at the end to see a s slowed down version of what it is that I'm doing. So now because I want this black to be on the outside edge, I'm gonna work the white pair through all of them. And I'm tensioning as I go. I want these to be all about the same length. They're just easier to work with that way. Okay, now the next pair, I'm work it through everything. Twist, place my pin, tension, 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 everything, and then work it back through the black pairs. Next pair, work it all the way back and black back through the black pairs. Tensioning as I go. Twist. Place my pin. Tension, tension, tension. And back through the black pairs. Next pair. Place my pair, place my pin, and work it back through the black pairs. And now we have the pink, and the pink's going to go all the way through.
twist. Tension, tension, tension. Place my pin. Work it back through the black layers. Okay, I want to make sure that I set aside the outside edge because I'll use that to tie the bottom together. And then you just do the same on the other side. So here we are, the black it has a double twist. Twist, place my pin. Okay, now I'm just gonna speed this up so that um, you can watch it all the way to the end. side pieces um, separated so I knew which ones they were is because I wanted to use them to tie a knot on the end here. So I'm just making sure that I have everything nice and tensioned. Then I tied once in the front, once in the back, and now I'm going to tie a knot in each of them each of the pairs and I'm going to use one of the pairs, so two strands, to do a four knot. Just to keep all these ends together and give it a nice tail. And there you go, there you have it. Um, now the only thing I need to do is trim the tail and take out the pins. So I hope that you give this a try. I hope that you enjoy it. And um, please let me know if you have any questions below in the comments and I'll try to answer. And um, remember that I go live on TikTok pretty often during the week, so if you have questions while you are working, um, I try to answer questions on TikTok as well, and there's a link below to my TikTok. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and have fun!